A disturbing story, Tamson and Kaidi. Detectives are still on the scene. Families living right across from this crime scene here are rattled this evening by this murder. From his first floor apartment's bedroom window, Jesus G. Rivera has a front row seat to a deadly crime scene that hits home for any parent. He ran back, and that's when he got shot. Right over here. Right here. Yeah, right over here. Just outside, in front of the Taylor Playground and the adjacent elementary school, NYPD Bronx detectives investigated the death of a young man, identified by relatives as 21-year-old Alan McQueen. McQueen was walking down the street in this Parchester neighborhood in broad daylight Tuesday afternoon when someone approached him and shot him in the head. At the time, McQueen was holding his one-year-old daughter. My instinct was to run downstairs and to grab the baby, and I did. That's what I did. I started screaming, the baby, the baby, and nobody knew that there was a baby underneath him. And I moved him. He was dead already. He had a bullet wound in the back of his head and one coming out of the front. So it was pretty intense. We spoke with the baby's grandmother, Jennifer, who did not want her face shown on camera. Regardless of somebody's background, you don't gun down a man that's with their child. I don't care if he did it, if he didn't do it, what he might have done, what he didn't do. My concern is always the children. Children first. We do not know if an argument or dispute preceded the shooting. But for Jennifer, the baby's grandmother, and for G, father of six children who lives right across the street from the shooting, none of that matters. What does they say is that we should be focusing our attention on the fact that whoever pulled the trigger could have taken the life of a child. The fact that it's happened by a park, any innocent kid could have been shot and I can't believe that someone would do that in broad daylight and take a man's life while they're with their child because you're jeopardized in the child's life as well. This is more and more common to me than most of the people I know, like my wife and my family. But yeah, it's a little, you know, they haven't even, they didn't go outside at all today. But just because you've grown up here, does that make it okay for you? No, but you just get used to it. You know, you get too used to seeing the crime and this is not the first time I've seen somebody die. So it's not, I don't know how you say how you, it's not like you get used to it. It's just, it's more common for us to see. By no means do we want to characterize this neighborhood as dangerous or extremely violent. NYPD crime stats show that year to date, the murder rate is down here in the 43rd precinct. And G says he brings his kids out here to play in this park every single day. Still, it is unsettling for these families here to know that whoever pulled the trigger today is still on the loose. We are live in the Parkchester section of the Bronx tonight. Jay Dow. Pix 11 News.